yellow mushrooms. I went online, I looked around. Uh, there's a lot of people saying that it's edible. There's a Amatia mushroom that looks like it when it's in its early stages. But once it's gotten as big as the puffball mushrooms that I found, it said that it's not likely that it's Amatia. But the quick check for the way, the quick way to tell whether it's an Amatia or not is to slice it lengthways. In other words, from the top down through the stem and see if it's got any structures in it like uh, gills. You know how the bottom of a mushroom has those little feathery things. If it doesn't have those, then it's not an Amatia. I sliced it open. I'll show you pictures of it later. I sliced it open. Uh, looked at it. It looked okay to me. Smelled it. Sniffed it. Checked it. Uh, went back online. Checked again. Looks like a puffball mushroom to me. So, I cut out three small slices of it and fried it up in butter and ate one slice. We'll see what happens. That was about half an hour ago. Feel fine. I ate a little piece first, waited about 15 minutes, didn't feel anything. I was wondering if I was going to get any funny feeling in my tongue, you know, numbness or anything like that. No problem at all. Just tasted like a really strong flavored mushroom. So, after about another 15 minutes, I tried the rest of the piece. So I've had maybe 20 grams of mushroom altogether. Uh, <laughs> if I start hallucinating, if you see me trying to walk on top of the garage, you'll know it's not a good thing to eat. But right now, it seems to be fine. Put the rest of it in a baggie, put it in the refrigerator. Uh, we're gonna wait till this afternoon, make sure that I'm okay. If I'm okay, then I'll let my lovely wife try a piece of it. Kind of an interesting thing to find, foraging in the backwoods behind the house.